Hello, and welcome to the tiny town of New Wilmington, Pennsylvania. They only have one gas station, but they have an old schoolhouse Airbnb stay that I want to check out. So let's go. We are approaching our destination. Hello, it's Victoria Rose here, and today's adventure is staying at 1800 Schoolhouse converted into an Airbnb situation in New Wilmington, Pennsylvania. We're gonna go in for the first time right now, and we're gonna stay here, and I'll give you a tour of the whole place, and I'm really excited. Where else can you find like a legit schoolhouse that you that has been converted into an Airbnb besides uh, Pennsylvania? Probably everywhere else as well. <laughs> But this is a really cool place. Like they have a uh, little chapel over there. So this is the outside. Oh wow, this is so cute. I'm not sure if this was an actual schoolhouse from the 1800s or if it was just built that way, but either way, it's pretty old school. It was around $100, maybe a bit less with fees on Airbnb. I feel like you're dressed just right for this place. Is that the bell? This Airbnb actually has a lot of a lot of bedding. So the first bed you get, it's kind of messed up now, but is this full this full bed right here, right below the chalkboard. And then this is the bell. It doesn't actually ring, but it would have rung back in the day. And then there's this little area right here under the stairs that's actually another bed. <laughs> We have a school bench, a um, little pen. It's a bit cold right now, so the fire's going. So I don't know a ton about schoolhouses, but let me know in the comments if you know if schoolhouses typically have like an upstairs, because this has an upstairs. So this is the bathroom, there's not much to it. It's kind of just in the shower. And so you come into the kitchen, Which again, nothing too special. Schoolhouses probably didn't have kitchens. Amish tours. They have all these vintage lunch boxes. Look at this. That light, that lampshade's cool. This is a very narrow door right here. And then we have two creepy <laughs> bed bedroom. So this can sleep like five people, like one, two, three, four, yeah, five people. Yeah, so very interesting Airbnb. Oh, I'm gonna show you outside. They have kind of a little town. I'll show you the rest out here. Oh wow, this is so cute. This is amazing. I didn't even know about this. <laughs> it's a cute 
cute little chapel. Wow. That's amazing. You can find cool places anywhere that you live. Like this is literally very, very close to where I live. So it's not like you have to go that far to have an adventure. I know I travel international and stuff, but it's not even necessary. Oh. Um, Tansy had this vintage wedding dress that we we're gonna shoot something in the in the chapel place with, but I forgot my SD card and also like I'm hungry. <laughs> but ready to wed. Just ready and willing. <laughs> Very nice and warm in here with the fire. You hear those clicky clacks? Those are some, some vintage actual shoes that were probably pretty relevant. You know, children settled down. I'm your fancy teacher, 1800s Victoria. I hear bad news, everybody. Jeremy has caught tuberculosis. Please, kids, keep coming to school. You must learn. We need scientists and doctors to figure out how to get rid of tuberculosis. That's probably uh, not the right dating or time era. I don't know. My Amish store, I mean, my a can store, black bean tortillas, boiled eggs. These are also from the dented can store. And a, an array of chips also from <laughs> the Amish store. And then, but, this is my mom's homemade salsa from 2019. She said, she said 19. Potatoes, some onions, and some a box of pasta, <laughs> and a of black beans. Got my makeshift wrap. It's probably kind of gross, but whatever. You gotta eat to survive. I also brought protein, of course. So the main reason that I came back to Pennsylvania in the first place is because my dreadlock extension fell out and I needed Tansy to put in another one. So I took an 11 hour train ride here for her to put in another piece of wool. <laughs> and I chose the color brown this time. I think we're going more naturey natural here. Um, kind of took a nap here in the schoolhouse. This is egg white protein in case you wondered. You gotta do what you gotta do for the gates. Call the unknown, where long forgotten stories are revealed to those who travel through the wood. So Tansy went to sleep up in the creepy upstairs. Hey Tansy! Yeah? Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna sleep here down in the big bed. So hopefully this place isn't haunted. Yeah, I'll ring a bell to wake you up. I'll see you in the morning. In the bathroom, they had mismatched towels and they didn't provide shampoo, but just bars of soap. I mean, I didn't expect much, it's fine. <laughs> So we have a map here. So I tried a little Freddy. Mmm. But I'm going into Niobly Map. Ah, ah. Let's go. I could be brown, I could be blue. I could be violet sky, I could be apple, I could be apple, I could be anything you like. I don't know if you like me. Why don't you like yourself? So apparently this is the spa and the wildlife habitat. This place is strange. Like I don't understand it. 
bit ch chill, chill, chilly cold. But you, there's we're trails around here, so we're just walking on them. It's getting pretty cold. I think we should go back. No. <laughs> cold. Hey, hiking with a passion. Okay, let's get this done with. <laughs> <laughs> the ugliest time of year, but I don't know where we are anymore. Right? Look, a tree house. Right? Oh, a tree house. I'll make a second video. Come to New Wilmington, Pennsylvania if you want the thrill of your life, or just a peaceful, relaxing school stay. I don't know. Uh, I provide you guys with as much as I can do. So leave a like and a comment, blah, 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 blah. Thank you for coming along this adventure with me. Six, trust I love you very much. Goodbye.